Hi, today I'll teach you how to count until 10,000 using Sinocorean numbers. But before that, let's get back to the previous lesson because I forgot to explain to you one more important reading rule. So I said that when Kyog, Tugut and Pyub are placed at the beginning, at the end and before a consonant, they should be read as K, T and P. And when they're placed between vowels, read them as G, D and P. But what if they're preceded by a consonant? How do we read them? Well, if Kyok, Tugut and Pyub are preceded by Nyun, Ryol, Mium and Iun, you should read them as G, T and P. For example, Hanguk, which means Korea, or Tamdang, Kalbi, Chungguk. Chungguk is China. And when Kyok, Tigut, and Pip are preceded by the rest of the consonants, read them as K, T, and P. Patta, Sipki. Okay, now let's get back to our main topic Korean numbers. And here's an interesting fact about Korean language. About 60% of all Korean words have Chinese origin, including numbers. That's why Chinese people can build Korean language vocabulary a few times faster than any other foreigner. And here is an example of the same words in Korean and Chinese. So there are two number systems in Korean, Sino-Korean numbers and Native Korean numbers. Both are used for different purposes. In this lesson, we will learn Sino-Korean numbers because they are easier to remember. And in the next lesson, I will teach you native Korean numbers. Sino means something related to China. So Sino-Korean numbers were derived from Chinese language. Here are 12 basic numbers. If you know them, you will be able to easily make any number till 10,000. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 100, 1000. To get 11, you just need to combine 10 and 1. 11. Why P suddenly became B is because now P is between vowel sounds. So we should read it according to reading rules which we talked about in the previous lesson. Now it's your turn, try to guess how to say 12. If you need time, you can pause the video. 12 is 12. 12. To get 20, you just say 2 and 10. 20. How would you say 90? 90 is 90. 9 and 10. 100 is 100. 200 is Ibek, not Ibek, because beep is now placed between vowel sounds. 700 is Chilbek. Here beep is preceded by real, that's why I read it as B. I explained this rule at the beginning of this lesson. 1000 is Chon, so 4000 is Sachon, and 10000 is it's not ship tone, it's man. And finally zero is yang or kong. Kong literally means empty. So what's the difference between yang and kong? Well, you can use both, but for example, for phone numbers and zip codes, Koreans usually use kong and in math, they use yang. Some of you might still don't understand why they're called sino korean numbers. Take a look at how these numbers sound in Chinese. Il is i, i is r, sam is san, and so on. You can pause the video and read it for yourself. So when do we use Sino-Korean numbers? When we talk about time, minutes and seconds only. 
because for hours we use native career numbers. For dates, for phone numbers and address, to measure things like size, distance, temperature, and so on. And for counting money, years, months, weeks, and days. One more thing I want you to pay attention to is when you say numbers that start with number one, like 10, 100, 1000, 1100, 10,000, you shouldn't say one. Like 100 would be peg, not ilbeg. This is wrong. And 1100 is chonbeg, not ilton ilbeg or ilchonbeg. Okay, there are a few exceptions though. It's Iraq, which is 100 million, and Ilto is 1 trillion. Big numbers in Korean language are a little bit complicated. That's why we will cover them at the end of this course, since they're not that important for now. Let's get back to Sina Korean numbers. Pause the video and try to learn 12 numbers right now as we are going to practice a little bit. Okay, how would you say 523? 500 is 500, 20 is 20, and 3 is sum. The next number is 1004, 1000 is 1000. Not ilton and sa. So 1004 is ton sa. The next number is 6025. If you can't solve it, learn the numbers again and come back. So 6000 is yukton, 20 is iship, and 5 is o. 6025 is yukton ishibo. How about this number? 7 is 7, so 700, 770, 777. The next one is easy, it's 19, and how would you say 91? 91 is 91, 91, and how would you say this number? Uh, remember you shouldn't say 1. So 111 is 111. 111. Take some time and try to say this number in Korean. 8000 is 8000. 900 is 900. 20 is 20. And 6 is 6. So this number is 8000. Not 10, but Sim yuk. It's an exception, so remember this. And finally, the last number is peg il pegil. Okay, we have just finished learning Sina Korean numbers. Your homework is to practice and become good at them. And in the next lesson, we will learn native Korean numbers.